guys, it's Alex here from succeedatdating.com and I want to welcome you back to another video. Basically, a lot of guys are having uh, issues keeping the conversation going. So they have uh, no approach anxiety if they've been doing this for a couple of years, but then they, they face the next demon and that is keeping the conversation going in a fun, uh, playful, light and interesting sort of way. And a lot, the biggest mistakes a lot of guys make is they revert back to the whole interview style question. So what that is, is oh, what's your name? Uh, what, what do you do? Where do you live? How old are you? Those type of interview questions that can instantly, in most situations, kill attraction. Now it doesn't matter whether it's a bar or club, it doesn't matter whether it's during the daytime, reverting back to those interview style questions will kill uh, any attraction uh, that you have up to that point. And the reason why is what most guys do is they do those those interview style questions within the first three minutes. So they're not really stand, setting themselves apart. They're not standing out in any way from all the other guys because that's exactly what they do. So if you do that, you are instantly within a couple of seconds categorized into that, that pigeonhole, that little box saying this guy is another average guy like the other 10,001 guys that have approached me in my lifetime. So what I'm trying to say is whenever you feel that you are going to revert back to saying, oh, okay, um, what's your name? Or where do you live? Or what kind of work do you do? Turn the question into a statement. And this could be applied basically any question you have, you can turn that, transform it, manipulate it into a question. So for example, if I was gonna uh, ask you what you do, I would say, you know, you look like, uh, you look like a hairdresser. And always make it something positive. So if you're in a bar or club, for example, you would say, uh, and you know, she had a drink and you don't know what she's drinking, you would say, um, one way of saying it is, oh, you, you look like you, you need a drink. Now that isn't positive. So don't, don't use anything that can be uh, construed or manipulated into being something negative. You wanna say something like, you look like a tequila drinker. Uh, you look like you're you know, 19. You can say that's basically any girl and she'll take that as a compliment. So rather than asking how old she is, what most guys do, ask, say you look like you're 19 or you look like you're 26. Or um, if you want to ask them you know, what, what they do, uh, where they live, you say you look like you're from this blah blah suburb and make sure it's a, it's a good suburb. The thing about this is you could use this any time you run out of things to talk about. So if you're conversing with a girl and all of a sudden you, you think, oh man, I've already run out of things to talk about, I'm only like 60 seconds into the conversation, then turn a question into a statement. So you look, you look like a Mary, or you look like a Michelle. And she says, no, no, my name's Jane. Say, so I was just about to say that, that was my next choice. I was only gonna say you look like Michelle because you, know, you look really, uh, you have this upbeat, positive attitude, you got a good smile, and I don't know, I just kind of resemble that and associate that with the name Michelle. Again, you notice that I'm turning everything into something that is, is positive. So I hope this video helps. I hope it does help you keep the conversation going, but also uh, how to turn your questions, your boring you know, interview style questions into uh, a statement. My name's Alex and for more uh, videos, head over to succeedatdating.com. I'll see you there.